Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexandria West and I am a beauty lifestyle vlogger. All right, you can see by the title of this video, it is a review. I rarely do reviews, but I was super interested in this product that I just recently hauled and I did pick up the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I picked up the shade 15.5. So it comes in 32 shades. Let me give you a description of this foundation. This foundation says it's a weightless liquid foundation that delivers buildable medium coverage with, with a light diffusing effect up to 16 hours. All right, you guys, before we get into the demo, I want to tell you my skin type and skin concerns. I have oily combination skin. I have acne and I am also acne prone. I also have eczema and hyperpigmentation. So those are my skin conditions and type. Let's get into this demo. I went to Sephora and I picked up the new Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I got the shade 15.5. Um, the models online were not helpful in picking out my shade. And I went to Sephora and they honestly didn't have it out yet. This was in the back so they had no testers. So based off the description offline, online about the coloring, that's how I picked it. So this is 15.5. I am going to prime my skin with the Vanish Primer by Hourglass. I really, really have been enjoying this primer, but I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin. And I put my foundation on with a brush, so I'm using my Morphe um, E63 brush. I'm gonna put a few, I'm gonna put one pump on the brush and go in. 15.5 is supposed to be neutral. I like that shade. If you're new here, I like a thin layer of foundation and that's it and I do not care if my imperfections are peeking through. I can go over it with concealer or just not at all. I don't care, I have less than perfect skin, but I've learned to embrace it, it is what it is. Because I feel like putting a lot of makeup on it just makes it look worse. Upon initial reaction, this looks really nice. It feels very lightweight. I don't mind the color, it, I feel like it matches my chest. On camera, I look a bit ashy, but that could just be my lights washing me out. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup and I'll be back with my th initial thoughts. All right, you guys, I am back. I'm done with the makeup application. What I can say so far is I do love the way this feels. It feels very lightweight. I feel like nothing is on my skin as of right now. It feels very, 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 very lightweight. Um, I could see how if you put on a lot of this foundation, it could probably get cakey really fast. But I like a very sheer one light layer of foundation and I do not mind my imperfections pinking through. So that being said, I know that's not for everybody. It, I feel like this could get cakey. I also don't feel like dry skin people would like this. If you have a lot of dry skin, I'm not sure if you would like this. I could see it clinging on to patches maybe. I don't know because like I said, I'm pretty combination. I have oily and dry skin because I have eczema. But I don't feel like it clung on to anything of mine. But I did like do my skincare. But yes, don't judge me too harshly from this hair. <laughs> I took my bonnet off and I started to film. Anyways, I'm gonna wear this all day long and then I'll come back at the end of the day with my final thoughts. All right, you guys, I'm done with my makeup, done with my hair. Full disclosure, it's a different day. 
but it's the same makeup minus the lip color. It is the same color, same makeup that I had on earlier. My SD card corrupted, but I'm in my bathroom to show you the coloring that it looks like in the bathroom. In person, this looks exactly my shade, but on camera, for some reason, it's reflecting lighter but i don't know out we'll go outside and show you what it looks like outside where we gotta go so many places today my daughter has a doctor's appointment and my son has a seventh grade orientation so we're gonna be in and out of the element i want to see really how this holds up i will show you a clip of me outside i probably won't talk i'll just show you what it looks like outside and then i will come back at the end of the night with my final thoughts Alright you guys, I am back. It is 9.57. I've had this on since about 8.30ish. I have some thoughts. Yes, I'm in my penguin pajamas from the holiday. Don't at me. <laughs> um, yes, I have some thoughts. Okay, my thoughts are I don't like this foundation. It's not for me. Um, the biggest thing is the claim said that it was transfer resistant. And I got no resistance. I had to go to a doctor's appointment, which I think I touched on earlier today. And we had to wear a mask. And my makeup came all off in that mask. And, um, and it came off, it came off on my mask, on my clothes. I don't want makeup on my clothes. And I'm really, like, diligent about not, like, rubbing my face up against my clothing and all of that. But this just, like, any little tap or touch was just transferring everywhere. I do have um, oily combination skin. I do have textured skin. And I don't like the way it's looking around my nose and going into my creases. It looks a bit cakey. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, I really don't like how it looks around my nose. Like I have texture here anyways because I have like old acne scarring. But yeah, I don't like how it looks around my nose. I don't like that it's gathering, it's settling into my fine lines. Um, basically, I feel like my under eyes look better than the rest of my face. My under eye concealer looks better than the foundation that I put on it. My blush is still on. Everything is on my face except for where the dang foundation. It's like on my forehead a little on my jaw but I just feel like everywhere else it's completely gone. Final thoughts is this one's going back to the store. I know a lot of people really enjoy this foundation. It's not for me. If you have oily combination textured skin I don't know if this is going to be for you. Um, a lot of people have used it with the Danessa Myricks um, balm. I do want to try that but I'm unsure of my color. But it's like if I got buy a $36 primer to make something work I'd rather just take it back because I have other foundations that I absolutely adore and hold up better on my skin so if it's up to me I would say this is a no but you know everybody's skin is different if you like it I love it girl but it's just not for me all right that's the end of the video I hope this was helpful please like thumbs up subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I upload another video all right you guys thank you for watching bye